Hey guys and welcome to another Pygame tutorial here on the Coders Legacy channel. In this video we're going to take a look at Rects in Pygame. Now what are Rects? Well Rects are basically rectangles. Okay, why do we need, why do we need these rectangles in Pygame? What are they for? Well you see when you bring in an object into Pygame, like let's say that you loaded an image and you have a player uh, image now on screen in your Pygame, okay, in your Pygame window. Now, you want this player to interact with something like an object, like a coin. He wants to pick up that coin. Now, the thing is, how are you going to detect that the player has touched the coin? Okay? It's just an image. Okay? Now, let me just tell you this. There is no way in Pygame to just detect the collision between two images. Okay? You cannot load two images and just, uh, you know, check collision between these two. No, you can't do that. What you need to do is use rects. Rects are boundaries. Rects are boundaries drawn around objects like players and coins and anything else really. They're boundaries drawn around them which define the area in which that object lies. Okay, so what we would do in the player coin example is draw a boundary around the player, draw a boundary around the coin, and then check to see when these two boundaries are colliding, okay, when they intersect each other. And when this happens, we basically, um, what do we do? Yeah, we just uh, trigger the pickup coin function, okay? That's how rects in Pygame work, or it, this is how things work, how, this is how collisions work in any uh, game framework, really, whether it's something like Unity or Unreal or something like Pygame. Okay, so, uh, here basically I'm going to create a new class called my object okay and then I'm going to create a few rects okay this is basically my blueprint for easily creating a bunch of rects okay I'm taking in some parameters over here I'll explain why I'm doing this in a minute just hold on what I want to do basically is show you guys how to create and draw rects to the screen okay that's the first thing I'm going to be teaching you guys so I'm going to create this variable called self.rect, which I'm going to store a rect in. And I do that, I create the rect by using pygame.rect. This is a function, okay? So I'm going to do this. Now, how am I going to create it? Well, I need some parameters, so obviously. I need some values that are going to determine what kind of rect we get. And this function takes four parameters, which are x and y, which is the position of the rect, okay? like where do you want this rect to start drawing from, okay, and then the width and the height, okay. This is uh, how to create a rect. Now I'm going to create a new function over here called render, and I need to add in self over there, hold it, okay, and this function is going to draw our rect, okay. You draw a rect using pygame.draw.rect, okay. Then the first parameter is going to be display, which is the surface we want to draw to. The second parameter is the color, which is a tuple of RGB values. I'm picking white in this case. And the third one is the rect that we want to draw. Okay, I'll make the object. I'll call it a rect1. Okay, I'll make it from this. I'll pass in some, hold it. Okay, I'll pass in some values like 50, 50. Okay, 50 on the X, 50 on the Y. And what about the width? Let's pick 80 and 40, okay? That's a rectangle. And I'll come down here and say rect1.render and I'll pass in the display that we made earlier, okay? So I'll run this now and this should run without any problems. There you go. There's our rectangle, okay? That's a pie game rect. Now normally this just looks like a shape, okay? But no, that's not the case. It's not some, we're not drawing rectangles over here, not really. What we're actually doing is uh, drawing, okay fine, we are drawing rectangles, but the, we have a greater purpose, okay? Our purpose, our greater purpose here is to actually uh, ultimately get collision detection, okay? Which I'll also show you, don't worry. So, Let's go ahead and, okay, before I go ahead and create some more rects and show you some other rect functions, I want to briefly discuss something. <sighs> okay, so let's just comment that out for a second. Now let's say that I had an image over here which I imported, okay, like pygame.image.load, okay, and then I have something like player image.png. Now I don't actually have this image, I'm just uh, using it as an example. 
but what I could do that if I want direct for this image now instead of going to the image properties and uh, seeing oh okay that image is 50 pixels wide and 100 pixels long uh, I mean tall then what instead of doing that and then creating a rect using those values what you can do for your convenience is self.image okay which is this image that you loaded over here then you just use the get rect function on it this automatically returns a rectangle with uh sorry this automatically returns a rect okay which has the width and height of the image get rect basically automatically creates this uh, rect for you uh, based off the image okay so it's a pretty handy technique okay so yeah and it's very flexible too you can load any image in and this rect will adjust accordingly okay i don't have image right now that uh, but uh, so i can't run this code but you guys can try it out you know just put in a random image and then try running this code just like how it is right now okay so now let me just remove that and remove that and uncomment that okay now let me show you some other functions okay and to do this i'm gonna do something over here actually because i'm not comfortable with uh with my current features okay i don't want to keep rerunning this code so i'm gonna do something pretty neat and just say that when the key button is down if event dot key again i'm not i'm not expecting you guys to understand this over here this is you know totally different it's from my uh high game keys tutorial keyboard tutorial you can check that out if you want to so i'm going to say that if event dot key is uh i hope i'm doing this correctly if it's uh m okay then uh let me just print this out yes this is working okay because i think i might have made a slight mistake somewhere over there all right I think it was key key down. I always forget this a bit. It's a bit hard to actually keep all of these in mind. And come to think of it, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be pygame dot m or pygame m or whatever. Let's just try it out. We'll we'll get there eventually, right? Okay, m. Nope. It has no attribute m. Of course not. Underscore m. What was it? All right. Now let me just go look this up real quick and come back here. All right, so it turns out that it was k underscore m. Okay, so I'm gonna do rect one dot rect, and I want to show you some functions. Okay, I want to show you move. Okay, actually, I, I want to show you move in place. Okay, uh, yeah, move underscore ip. Ip stands for in place, and this takes two parameters, x and y. The offset for how much you want it to move on the x direction and the offset for how much you want to, it to move on the y direction okay you can pass in negative values and positive values okay i want to move this 50 pixels to the right and 50 pixels down so i'm going to do 50 by 50 and i'm going to run this code okay i'll press m look at that it's moving but the old directs are still showing up I, i'm not, and i'm not duplicating anything here so why is this happening well the thing is this is like a paint board okay that's what your pygame window is like you're basically drawing onto it when i do move in place it draws a new rectangle uh 50 pixels to the right and 50 pixels down okay now the problem is i'm not cleaning this canvas in between drawings in between frames that's something you actually need to do and something that we forgot to do which is why this problem is happening i need to do display dot fill and i'll fill in the black color okay now if you had a background or something if you had a game and you wanted to do the same thing like refresh the background okay reclean the background you would uh, most likely have a background image so you would be drawing your background image first and then you would draw everything else on top of that all right so let's run this now okay i'll press m and there you go it's moving as expected now what's the difference between move in place and move well, in place moves the rect itself in place. Okay, that's what, that's what it basically means. It moves the rect that it's acting on. Okay, what move does is that it returns a new rect that is uh, 50 pixels to the left and 50 pixels, sorry, 50 pixels to the right and 50 pixels down. It basically uh, generates a new rect which is which has been moved okay now maybe that's what you want but that's not really what i'm going for so you know uh, i just 
usually used in the in-place versions, okay? And then there's another one called inflate, okay? This can be used to increase the size. And similar to move, there's inflate and then there's inflate in place, okay? I, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna show you in place, okay? Because I don't want to return a new one and draw that one, okay? That's just too long. So yeah, but that may come in handy sometimes, so yeah. Hold on, I'll just move this a bit down, okay? Like 100 and 100. And now let me inflate it, okay? Inflate is just used to increase the size, two parameters, and which control how much it really grows, okay? Watch. All right, it's growing by about 10 on each because that's what I passed into uh, the uh, inflate function, 10 on the X, 10 on the Y. So you could, for example, make that zero and let's see what happens. There you go. It's centered perfectly, so you don't need to worry about that, okay? It expands from the center. So, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys collision now, okay? Which is basically the last thing I wanna show you guys, which is also something really important for Rex. So I'm gonna go here and create a new object, okay? I'll call it my object. And let's put it at 200 and same Y and make it a little smaller maybe, okay? And let's put this one a bit back, okay? Now, okay, let's put this one a bit further. All right, now I'm gonna make something like this. I want to basically control these two rects, okay? I'll control this one using A and I'll control this one using D, okay? I'll call the move functions over here, okay? And... This one will move negatively, this one will move positively. And of course we need to go ahead and draw them now, okay? Now let me just run this code once to see whether we got it right. So I can control this one with A and control this one with D. Okay, great. And then we can see when they collide. And you know what, let's just go ahead and change the color. Uh, boy, I'm gonna need to pass in those parameters, to change the color and everything. Let's go ahead and do that, okay? Just keep just to keep some differentiation between the two of them. Okay, so I'll go here and make this one white But I'll make this one something else like red. Okay, RGB values remember All right, so good now what I want to do is basically Have some code here that detects when the two of them collide. Okay now there are a bunch of ways of doing this Okay, we have something called uh, collide rect, which is basically what I want to actually use over here. We have other stuff like sprite collide and sprite collide any and group collide. That's uh, more like sprite collision detection, okay? That of course involves rect, so I will make a separate video on that because that's kind of a different topic. But for now, let's just take a look at the collide rect function, okay? And what I want to do now, how am I gonna do this? Where am I gonna call the re collide rect function? Hmm. Normally, I would probably put it uh, in here. I'd make an update function for my object, and then I would you check for collision in that update function. But since we're making a pretty simple program here, I'll just put it in the game loop. Okay? If rect one dot collide rect, and then I'll pass in rect two over here, and you can go ahead and swap that around. Rect two dot collide rect or rect one dot collide rect. Same thing. Okay, so over here I'll say that if the two of them collide, just print out a simple message. The recs have collided. Okay, pretty simple. Now I'll just run this. And come on. Okay, what is wrong? Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. What's really happening here is that rect one dot collide rect is not going to work. Because collide rect is a function belonging to the rect object, okay? So we need to do rect one dot rect and we need to do over here rect two dot rect. So I'll run this now and here we go, okay? Now I'll use the A and D keys to move these together, okay, slowly. And there you go. The message is now being printed out, okay? The two of them have collided. Okay, so that's how collision between two recs actually work. Okay, now of course there are other methods as well that deal with sprites and stuff. Uh, again, I will have a separate video on that, 
but there is one more function I want to show you guys and that's collide point okay this one's also pretty handy so let's say that uh, you want to check collision between a rect and a point okay a coordinate so what I'll do here is simply pass in the coordinates for the origin which are 0 0 okay wait this isn't the origin actually that's the top left I forgot this is pi game so what is the origin point gonna be Okay, it's going to be 200 and 150, okay, if I divide those by 2. So I'll just write here 200 and 150, okay. Now I'll say over here the rect has collided with the origin point. Okay, now let's run this. And come to think of it, I need to actually just change something over here. I need to make a way for our rect one to move down, okay. So let me just change that quickly into this. Now I can move rect1 uh, in both directions. So I can move him down, I can move him forward, and I think, yeah, here we go. We've hit the origin, and now this message is being printed out, okay? And if I leave the origin, we can see that the, that the messages have stopped being printed out. It's a bit hard seeing that, but yeah. So this is it, pretty much. Uh, this is how you check. These are the two collide functions that are native to rects. There are other stuff like sprite collide, sprite collide, any group collide, but again, that's all about sprites. I will make a separate video on that, and the link will be in the description below, so be sure to check it out, okay, because both sprites and rex kind of go hand in hand, so you can't say that you, you've you mastered collision detection in Pygame without having done uh, both of them, okay? So yeah, uh, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next. I hope you guys subscribe and leave a like, leave some comment, leave some feedback, alright? And be sure to check out some of our other Pygame videos, some of our other Pygame series, like our RPG series. So yeah, later.